Hello, in this tutorial on FDL I want to show you the animation. Okay, I've downloaded a, a picture, a GIF animation from the internet and I open with GIMP and put all of the uh, layers, so all of the frames into one picture. As you can see that the picture is a long picture, so uh, we will animate that. Alright, so we need actually uh, to load this image obviously we have to load this image and this image is inside share slash low okay that's it we load the BMP image okay the next thing to do is to set all of the rectangle of this image it has 11 uh, in this case 11 frames so we have to make an array of SDL rect so SDL rect uh, I don't know call it rect and it, it has uh, 11 thing alright so it has 11 picture now we need to make a function which uh, actually set all of the coordinates if you are clever you use the same uh, space in every, uh, among every picture although I don't do that so I have to manually set all of them so let's make a function call it uh, set rect okay and it waits at uh, the rect so the address of an SDR rect okay in here so uh, wait that rect like that and it's with an SDL rect address uh, I don't know call it uh, clip okay and uh, you have to manually set the coordinates so you can use your favorite image editor just select one uh, horse and you know just uh, get the coordinates of the selection and you know do that uh, I've already did that so I just copy it right now but uh, obviously it's a very simple test so I hope that you can do that alone so just copy it in here okay I set all of the coordinates of this horse so all of the frames it is not perfect but uh, almost all right mm. so uh, pretty much everything remains the same uh, except that uh, we will bleed the surface actually just we just bleed the surface only once all right and here uh, instead of uh, this first which is actually deleted already so it will give an error we set one of the elements of this uh, rect array for that we need a new uh, a variable called uh, frame this will call uh, contain the current frame this is zero at the, the moment when we start the program and every frame we just increase it so in here we just increase it frame plus plus and if the frame is too big so if frame equals to 11 11 then we just set back the frame to zero frame equals zero as you can see okay and uh, I think that's it uh, we only just put the rect uh, frame like that and it should work probably uh, I don't know try it oh the address of the frame obviously as I said the address is needed okay here we go as you can see it is as simple as that to load an animation although you can see it's a little bit weird because I cannot uh, exactly position these frames so some is some of them a little higher and some of them a little lower but basically that's it you may want to do I will not do that because I will run out the time if I do that to uh, read the keys as I showed you in one of the earlier tutorial and just if the 
uh, left uh, right key is pressed so just whenever the right key is pressed you just increase the frame if the right key is not pressed you just use a frame where the horse is not moving so yeah just set the, this frame variable to I don't know for example the 12 value would be the uh, the horse when it is not moving so whenever none of the key is pressed you just set the frame equal to 12 uh, and whenever the right key is pressed then you increase the frame so you not do here you do that uh, in here where we check in the logic um, and that's it you can see how easy it is to animate something the animate is a basic a key concept of the game programming so whenever you want something you don't want to just uh, a static image go through the uh, map you want that it seems that it's working okay by the way you can set the speed of the animation by set the fps for example you can set to 20 fps and as you can see it's a little slower I guess alright probably it's not the best way because you want your game to run at the uh, stable FPS so probably you want to do if you want your animation a little bit slower to not increase the frame by 1 you increase the frame by 0 0.5 and then you round that value and uh, yeah you round that value that's it Okay, I covered everything I wanted in this tutorial, so thank you for watching and have a great day.